Now we are moving on to part two. This is the top 10 video games that I have streamed on my channel since the dawn of time. Yes, epic. Let's roll that beautiful clip. Now, the first game on the list is a classic. Didn't think it was gonna be as hilarious to stream. And that was Burning Fight. And the reason why was for Duffy. My pal Duffy was literally almost in the good chunk of the end of the game. And I kept talking about him. I couldn't stop talking about Duffy because he was just so funny. And I did a counter. And <laughs> I said his name a lot. You can watch the video. <laughs> it's in there. It's the, the funniest thing I ever did see. And it made the list because... I never thought I was going to have so much fun with a beat-em-up like that. I usually would be all excited about the main characters, but this was not even a boss. It was just a fighter who kept coming in, had overalls, a handlebar mustache, and a killer haircut. What can I say? The second game on the list was a classic turned into a horror game, and that was Oregon Trail. Not Oregon Trail, but Oregon Trail. And literally, this game was... I just gave the reins to somebody else for the first time and said, you know what? You pick and choose what happens to the, the team. We're here, we watch what happens, and we see what all the chaos is going to bring. And I kid you not, it brought a lot of chaos. <laughs> to the point where you saw somebody snatch somebody and you had to make a split decision. Like a split second decision. And you had to go in and stop the person from getting shot. And I failed several times and I just went... I'm so sorry. <laughs> but it was a fun time. I had a blast watching everybody choose whoever was the wagon leader. And I I didn't know it was going to be that much fun. I thought it was going to be, you know, community thing and we were all going to enjoy it. But it was so fun. I was going to do it next Halloween. So be ready. Oregon Trail is going to come back. Oregon. Not Oregon the state. The third game on the list was another um, team-based game. Predator, Hunting Grounds. This game I thought was not going to be as fun because it was free on PSN and when I was like, oh, let's just get a group together to play, I had a blast. I, I was pleasantly surprised by the fact that it stayed true to the game, was true so much to the movie that you literally saw Arnold in some of the parts of the game. And the Predator looks spot on and you could be male or female and I like that too. I like that you could also play with some buddies and it was kind of like Friday the 13th but you had a group of four and you had one predator so it literally was like dead like I can't even talk dead by daylight and you can go in and you had one person trying to hunt everybody and we actually survived we escaped I've played multiple times with other people and this is the reason why I keep my PSN. I keep it because Predator. And I'm excited again for another staple that's coming up that might make the list next year if I get tagged again. Now, the next game on the list, it made the list because of the community-based aspect and a buddy who is no longer with us. And sadly, I can't stream it anymore because of how much it hurts the channel but it still has a place in my heart, and that is Mario Kart 8. Mario Kart 8 started off as a game that I didn't know I was going to enjoy so much. I mean, I do love Mario Kart, but over the years, I kind of not stopped playing Mario Kart and just went on and been like, okay, whatever, you know, Mario Kart's part of everybody's day-to-day, -day and I saw it at a convention, I would play it for a little bit and call it a day, but Mario Kart 8. <sighs> didn't know it would be that much fun because I got a group of buddies together and we played for hours and even though we would know who most of the time would win, we would still try to beat those top whatever amount of people and try to crush them and it was so fun. I love just the community coming together, having fun, multi-streaming and we would all like balance out and we would all have a blast and just like take each other out and, and it made it a great stream every time. It didn't matter how many times I streamed it, it was fun from beginning to end. Now the next game on the list, 
is the original version, Oregon Trail. I love Oregon Trail. I don't care if it's the deluxe version or the original version. They're both good in my opinion. I have so many times played it that I can know front to back the chaos that it's going to bring, but it was funny to see everybody's reaction on <laughs> on stream live because when you play with the videos, you don't get the reaction that you normally get like I'll be like, "Oh, dude, so and so got lost. How you keep getting lost, my friend?" and in this was fun to see everybody's reaction live and to see everybody go, dude, why do you keep going for the snakes? Or we were all having fun, just all of us just be like, oh my gosh, stop going for this or stop going for that or egging it on and being chaotic and shenanigans and I loved it. I loved having shenanigans. It was fun. I would stream this more if I didn't have the problems that I have with YouTube. YouTube's being a turd. What the hell, YouTube? I want to play my game. The sixth game on the list was a game that I didn't think was going to be that funny also and that's Two Point Hospital. That one was a riot. I had t so much fun. I thought just being a simulator was going to be, oh, put it together, do your thing and whatever happens, happens. But I had a blast seeing all the chaos and I didn't think there was going to be that much chaos. I thought it was going to be like, oh yeah, keep the hospital going, have fun with it. But everybody kept making such so many good jokes that I just like, I had to stream this and keep going with it and keep playing longer and, and some of the machines kept blowing up and going on fire that I didn't even think that would happen. And that little shock and surprise made everything so much more fun. I had a blast with that and I would recommend anybody play Two Point Hospital and I know they're gonna have Two Point University so I might pick that up. I might get that game. Another game on the list is Call of Duty Black Ops 4. I had a blast getting buddies together from all over the community coming together and us just throwing down and getting some dubs, wins, however you want to say it. It was so much fun and even when we didn't win it was comical hilarious to see people cause chaos whether it be not realizing that the ATV is going into the water or just like driving off and into the sunset of just like where'd you go? I don't know. <laughs> I can't find myself. And I had a blast with Call of Duty. I love Call of Duty. It's one of my favorite games to stream. And I've always enjoyed getting a group of people together and just being like, you know what, let's have some fun, let's play. And occasionally you can get somebody to play online, but it's hard now with most people moving on to the next game, which was Vanguard now, but it was still has a little place in my heart to just keep reliving and watching the old clips from back in the day and the streams from back in the day of I was just having so much fun. So if I can get another Call of Duty Black Ops, I'd be happy. So please make it happen. Another classic multiplayer game that I loved, that still I love, but I wish the servers were back on is Friday the 13th, the video game, the one for the new modern consoles. And that one I just love. I love the, the fact that we could get a group of eight together and one was the killer and the rest were running around as camp counselors. The game was so glitchy and bad, but it was so fun to play because your car could go up into the air as Harry Potter, or you could literally get stuck in some bush or tree, or you could literally be running to somewhere and then Jason just pops up and just takes you out and you don't know what's going to happen. So it was fun and random to see everybody how they played Jason or how they played a camp counselor. And I loved it. I loved all the memories I had and all the fun times I had with it. And I still, every now and then, play it. I still get a group of people together. But it's not like it used to be. So it's sad that you have to have great internet connections all around to order to make it to work. Otherwise, you can't. So I'm looking forward, again, I will say this, I'm looking forward to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre video game. I hope that that would be the next server-based game that I can play with buddies and just cause chaos. That's what we need to do. And Evil Dead, if it'll ever show up. I don't know what happened in that game. It just didn't do anything next, so I gotta look it up and see if it's still coming out. Nah, the next game, I know some people are gonna get mad that it's probably on the list, but I will keep it on the list for the reason of memories. I love Fortnite when it was good back in the day. Um, 
Now it's not so good. I don't like the Fortnite. I haven't played it. It's off off of my list. It's off of my radar. I I don't even want to even bother with it. But Fortnite back then, it was a fun game to stream. It was fun to get a group of people together, four four people, and multi-stream and have fun with it and just watch as we would get some wins. Also like Call of Duty, and. I enjoyed that game. That's the aspect of getting a bunch of people together and just saying, hey, let's crush some people's dreams and let's have fun with it. Or go out in a blaze of glory because we were <laughs> just like, hey, let's get this shot going or let's do something fun and chaotic. And it, it was a fun time. I enjoyed Fortnite when it was fun back then. And sadly, now that it's, it's tanking, it's just going to be a distant memory of great times and fun times. And that's it. It's just going to be what I played with my buddies, and that's it. That's all it's going to be. So, yeah, Fortnite made the list. And the last game on the list is Halloween for the Atari 2600. And you're saying, but that's not community-based. But it was. It was fun. It was, it was a blast to play Halloween and watch as everybody jumped in and go, oh yeah, it's actually a pretty good game and seeing everybody else trying to stream it and just watching everybody see how far they can go. It was a comical time. I loved it. I loved seeing everybody's reactions when kids were... and the, the, the guy just, like, that didn't count against you, but he just kept going after you. So, I liked it. I liked the game. I liked how much fun I had talking with everybody and, and just sitting back and... It was a simple game. And that's why I think it made the list because it was such a simple game that I didn't have to think too much other than just find the kid and take him to the safe zone. So that's it, everybody. That was my 10 video games of all time for streaming. Yes, I made two videos about my top 10 video games of all time. And I want to know. If you do stream, if you don't stream, that's okay. You don't have to make this. But if you do, what are your your games that you always like to stream or what are your games that you always go to and are like hey that's pretty cool I like that I, I enjoy these games and I keep going back to them over and over again and I hope you have a great rest of your day and let's just tag everybody it's an open tag again because I'm making a two part so if you want to make the video go for it let me know and if you do make the video put it on the internet let us all know because YouTube don't be telling us about all the videos and stuff like that. So I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I'll catch you next time, everybody. Bye. Linda the Gamer Girl. She's here, she's playing games. Linda the Gamer Girl. She's here, she's playing games.